You guys are in a breakout room. I'll do the same for Mr. Bauer. So when you come back, we'll just pop you right back in. All right. So, Miss uh, Weldon, the part of the court's role in a debtor exam is to take an affirmation from you. So what I need you to do is to raise your right hand, please. Do you swear and affirm that you will truthfully and accurately answer any questions put to you by the plaintiff concerning your ability to pay the judgment in this case? Yes, I do. All right. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to open up what we call a breakout room. And uh, you guys should see the option uh, soon here to go to the breakout room. And then essentially what that is is so that you can have a private conversation outside of court uh, about uh, the status of your case. You do not need to come back over here. Uh, when you're done, you can just go ahead and go, Miss Weldon, and then Miss Van Dam. If you um, if you pop back over, uh, I'll I'll put you then in a room with Mr. Bowers and his guardian. All right. Okay. okay. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you. You should see that option. Hit join now. Yep. All right. And so I do have this file now, file 230067SC, Allegan Credit Union versus Mark Bowers. Allegan Credit Union is here. They had two cases, so I put them in a breakout room with the person right in front of you. And then what I need to do, the court's part of this, is simply to swear you in, Mr. Bowers. So if you could raise your right hand for me. Do you swear and affirm that you will truthfully and accurately answer any questions put to you by the plaintiff concerning your ability to pay the judgment in this case? Yes, sir. All right. So you're all set as far as court is concerned. I'm going to put you back over in the waiting room. When Allison's done talking to the first party, then I'll give you guys a breakout room so you can have a private conversation. You do not need to come back and talk to court after you're done talking to them. You're all set for today. All right. Your Honor. Um, yes. I'm the guardian and payee. And I have already, we've already been here. We've done this. I petitioned the probate court as you had told us to do. They sent an order telling miss this case and now we're in court with you again. Okay. I don't have anything so about that. Is there any And I did notice on um, well, I'm in control of my money, my guardian pay. Well, so sure. we had a um, petition and they signed it um, stating that this was to be discharged, that the debt, that the $500 loan and all of the um, court fees and everything was to be dismissed. Did and you send that to I sent this. I did. As soon as I received right. it from probate court, I sent it to Allegan Credit Union and we're still back here. That's fine. We'll talk on the record when uh, she's done talking to the person in front of you. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to make that known. All right, Mr. Sherry, you want to take yourself off mute? Tell me what you're here for. Um, I'm here for uh, uh, my house to get foreclosed on. Ah, all right. You are in the right place. You're just a bit early. Those are 9.30. So oh, sorry. I, I, I never Zoomed before, so I wanted to make sure I get it correctly and don't slow anybody down. All right. Well, as soon as that plaintiff shows up, I'll put you... Uh, I'll bring you back over, but I'll just have you waiting in the waiting room for now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 